What's up guys? Um, today there is an well unfortunate video, I don't know, it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing in one video. Because the transfer or trade period happened um, basically last week. And of course the Cambridge High Garden had to make some trades to improve their squad. And unfortunately that meant for two of my months to drop out. And you can on the screen at least if you are a little bit uh, known around the Pokemon worlds and you know which months these are that dropped. It is in fact Flareon, Arbloth, Fire Rock, Sparky that, uh, that dropped. And yeah, um, basically, as you can see on the squad, uh, as, uh, on the picture on the TG video, um, Arcanine gains, so I replaced it kinda. Uh, Flareon, of course, a very reliable mom. It had the niches in. Uh, and wish bashing, it has a uh, baton pass of course, and it's a pretty potent wall breaker. It's uh, the facade, the superpower and the flower blitz of course hurt a bit like a bitch. But I felt more comfortable with Arcanine, and Arcanine is a low price here, I paid 12 points for it, it's worth 10 on the spreadsheet, but uh, it was in possession of Master Swift squad, and to get it, it's, uh, I had to pay a little bit more. Arcanine of course gets the, uh, it's, it's defensively a lot, uh, more reliable. Um, it has the Monixon as uh, guaranteed and at least it doesn't waste two move stats. Uh, so uh, Monixon as its recovery. It has uh, Crowns, Close Combat, Extreme Speed, uh, you name it, uh, Flybrids of course. Uh, I honestly felt just a lot more safe with the bulk and the speed because it's a lot, uh, it's like 30 base speed uh, faster. I think Flybrid is 65 and Arcanine is base 95. So. Uh, that's basically the idea behind um, Arcanine. I think it makes my squad a lot, a lot, a lot um, more threatening. I think Arcanine on the squad, on the tier list, on my team list uh, at least, I think Arcanine is a much more uh, potent mon to prepare for than Flareon was. Um, so yeah, um, to afford uh, Arcanine, however, I had to drop a pricey mon, and unfortunately for Miancio, it's... It's Miancio. <laughs> And yeah, Mianxiao didn't get any action in my games. Um, uh, yeah, of course, it's it's a pretty reliable one. It I would have liked to use the niches in uh, Sword Stance Baton Pass um, because you often see it being like a life upset with fake out, you know, kind of a kind of moveset uh, or the uh, Charge Card. But no, I wanted to use uh, the Sword Stance Baton Pass uh, Fabian, but nothing on my team really uh, could benefit from that too much. And in general, I often didn't want to go with Mianxiao because you either lose a lot um, of power by not going for high jump kick, and not running high jump kick on the set. Um, and on the other hand, high jump kick could uh, easily be prepared for by uh, stuff that's weak to fighting. Uh, for example, if I face the Blissey, uh, Blissey Bliss runs off and runs protected. So, uh, yeah, of course, the train punch would be more beneficial against the Blissey, but you get my point. Um, so I had to unfortunately drop me and show. Uh, this does leave me, uh, I guess, a little bit more weak to rock uh, the rock move, losing uh, two, uh, losing a fire type uh, and a fighting type, uh, and gaining two rock weakness in a fire type and flying type. But I think I can patch it up. No one knows about my rock weakness. Um, anyway, uh, the, the the latest one on my. Uh, well, actually, it was the first one I picked up, but um, Driftblum. Driftblum is a really cool mod. Uh, I lost two baton passers, but I gained one, and this is arguably the best one of them. Uh, baton pass is often used uh, for just momentum, which I will use it for definitely, and of course, just for passing. And that's a thing uh, Driftblum can do as well. It gets calm mind. Uh, I don't want to say uh, all of its niches, of course, but it, uh, for example, calm mind. Uh, to, into my uh, Hydreigon, for example, I don't know. That would be uh, kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, Turplum is a pretty cool mod. It's also the ghost type, but yeah, I really want it because rapid spin blocking, you know, kind of that kind of thing. Um, so, I like that uh, on the Turplum. Also, just in general, it gets the Unburden ability, so uh, people do have to prepare for it. Um, the speed it can get, it, it's 80 base speed, base speed. The speed it can get is uh, pretty insane, so. Uh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I kind of like it. It can be a very potent sweeper. And the physical and special side. On the physical side, it gets uh, stuff like acrobatics, which often, uh, which at least uh, in my opinion, uh, works really well together with the unburden, of course. 
Um, it also gets, uh, I don't know, stuff like Sucker Plants for priority. It gets a lot more niches. Um, let me quickly get to Pokemon Showdown and hopefully there is something I can show you with it. Drifton's moveset. It gets uh, a defog, of course. Of course, I need a defog. So that's uh, that's the thing. It gets explosion, it gets haze, it gets uh, knockoff, paint split, uh, tailwind, uh, and it gets uh, all of the statuses. It gets thunderwave, it gets will wisp, it gets toxic. Also nice. It gets trick to uh, become a rather annoying, like I showed in my brown zone. And I think that's basically it. Uh, maybe something else that gets, I guess, stockpile, but I don't think I'm ever gonna run that. <laughs> But yeah, um, you know stuff like that. Uh, it's uh, really, really cool. I, I like it. It's it's the one I want to use. It's definitely the one I uh, look forward to. I had this idea from like week one that I really needed um, uh, Drifting on my squad. It, I think it would fit really well on my team. And it's finally the case. It's finally a thing now. So Drifting is uh, luckily for the price of only two uh, points. It's gonna be a really um, good one on my squad. I think I'm gonna use it a lot. So that's pretty cool, and uh, I hope you all look forward to seeing this on the other. Uh, of course, the other teams have trades out too. Uh, some things uh, I did, of course, expect to uh, leave at least uh, be gained uh, are stuff stuff like uh, slow king, hit powder on, Napoleon, Azumarill. Um, you know, stuff that I mentioned in like I think my first video uh, that I was surprised to see not getting picked. Of course, you cannot pick everything because there is a price limit, so makes sense. But uh, most of that stuff is has been picked now. And uh, the one I'm most afraid of in the uh, list that is has been picked is also a one I kind of wanted myself, and it's kind of I, I didn't have like uh, solid plans on getting it. I kind of wanted it um, if, in fact. Uh, there, he, he, it was still free at the point, and I f still figured it was a good thing to add to my list. And that's throw. Um, throw, unfortunately, snatched up by the uh, by Kino by the FC Evidence, and I really think that's gonna trouble my team. And like I said, I do have a slight problem, so I did kind of want to find that back and uh, exchange it for I don't know some kind of mod that I uh, in fact did not need as much as a fighting type. But unfortunately, throw for a really cheap price for again two points is a mod that is not uh, gonna be added to my squad at least not in this transfer period. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. And yeah, I'll have to face him in week six. So uh, uh, he might definitely use it versus me. I don't know. I haven't looked too far into that yet. I still have to prepare for a uh, week, uh, week four against Richie. So uh, yeah. In, uh, in any case, thanks for watching, and I hope um, you enjoyed this. And feel free to uh, leave me a comment on uh, my drafts, my transfers, and uh, what you think of them. If they improve my squad or maybe even drop my squad a little bit down in threatening ways and you know stuff like that. So, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully see you again uh, next Friday, hopefully, I guess, for the Mets versus Richie.